Hi, welcome back to Electric TV. I'm Dominic Giratano, hosting this time around for Tom Green. What does a horse have to do with the electrical industry? Well, we're talking transportation today, and once upon a time, if you wanted to get from point A to point B quickly, horseback was the only way. But when Henry Ford came along and revolutionized the automobile industry, he said, if I'd asked my customers what they wanted, they'd have said a faster horse. Good thing for us, he built a car instead. Our country is in need of a new innovative idea, and the NECA IBW team just might have it. It means trading in this gas pump to this, a fully electric car charged with this 240 volt connector. And when you do the math, it works out to about two cents a mile compared to about 40 cents a mile with traditional gas. Sounds pretty good to me. By 2015, a government mandate is calling for one million of these electric vehicles to be on the road. So no matter where you drive, east coast or west, on a bridge, highway, or city street, all one million will use a variety of different stations to fuel up. But only one standard plug like this, according to Mike DiNucci of Kaloom Technologies. I wish cell phone companies would do this. I wish that an iPhone charger would charge a BlackBerry, or even an old BlackBerry charger would charge a new BlackBerry. You see the pinout is uh, five pins. You've got a ground at the bottom, two hots, and then two communication lines in the middle. Mike also took the time to show us their stations and their advantages. This is our home station right here. This is the CT500 network charging station designed to be deployed on uh, your garage wall. The CT2100 uh, family of stations, which you see right here, made of an anodized aluminum extrusion, uh, access and security control, uh, the antennas in the head cap are hidden, and uh, in general, it's just a much sturdier unit designed for public curbside uh, any type of commercial charging deployment. The stations do not provide any electric current or energy if an authorized session has not been put into play. It eliminates the danger, the hazard, the liability of providing 220 volt outlet out in public, open air, maybe in the rain, standing in a rain puddle. In the case of the, the commercial station, you have two charging outputs. You've got a 120 volt at 16 amps, and then you have a second charging output that's 240 volts at 32 amps. And in terms of charging time, um, a 100 mile battery pack that you would find in the Nissan LEAF, a 110 volt cord would charge that entire battery pack in about 15 hours. Whereas with this, you double the voltage, double the amperage, but you are increasing the speed 5x. So it charges the, the battery pack in about three hours. So I'll demonstrate that for you now by using one of our subscription cards here. You hold it near the lock right here. It's authorizing. The door will unlock. And I have a tester cord here with a little uh, circuit testing bulb. And then finally, close and lock the door. Now the bulb lights up, the station energizes, the door is locked over the cord, so you now have cord security. And you can leave knowing that your car will be charging while you're gone. When your car is done charging, not only will the station end the session and de-energize, but it will also, using the wireless technology, send you an email or a text message to your smartphone if somebody were to come and trip over your cord or because the, all the cars use the same connector, if someone were to come and pull it out of your bumper and put it into their own, the station recognizes that break, it will instantly de-energize, shut off the energy, uh, terminate the session, and it will send you a text message. The requirements to undertake this massive shift uh, is going to mean job creation, it's going to mean a lot of uh, deployments in places far and wide. And the need for qualified, competent, skilled, 
craftsmen, electricians, electrical contractors to be able to do this work. You really need somebody who knows how to do those kinds of things in a clean, self-contained manner. We're putting people to work to manufacture the stations, and better yet, we're putting people to work to deploy and install the stations. Remember that stat from our story now, over a million electric cars are expected to be on the road in the near future. They're going to need to plug in somewhere, so it might as well be at your place of business, your parking garage or parking lot, just like this one. But whatever you do, if you're interested in a Kaloon Technologies electric vehicle charging station or another manufacturer, you've got to insist that it's installed by the NECA IBEW team. That's it for this edition. We'll see you next time.